about to spill this water, guys. The dogs, <coughs> the dogs are bumping into me <coughs> as I'm trying to carry this bowl of water. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Emily sent me a extra <coughs> Yeti, uh, Yeti dog bowl. Uh, it's insulated dog bowl. It's supposed to help keep the water nice and cold. See. Oh, Grant says, oh, yes, please. I like cold water. So thank you so much, Emily, for the bowl. The boys, the boys appreciate it. Um, I have not I have not groomed Grant yet, like I said I was going to do. I'm going to work on that today. Um, I have not gotten Mozzie's uh, blood work results yet. Um... Sometimes Dr. Pearson will text me on Saturday. I'm wondering if that's what she's going to do. I texted yesterday, but it was late. She's probably already gone, and she's off on Fridays. So I'm assuming I'm probably going to get a text Saturday from her on Mozzie's blood results. I did get Marley's. I don't know where Marley went. Um, Marley's blood results, because he had to get blood work done. There he is over there by the fence. He had to get blood work done before he can have his surgery to get that bump on his nose. I should say mass, not a bump. A mass on his nose uh, removed. And his blood work came back perfect. So that's good news. No problems with his blood work. And we can go ahead and get that surgery done. Uh, I believe I said it was August 9th. I think it's August 9th. So... He's good to go. So just waiting on Mozzie's blood work. That's why I haven't done a video because I was waiting to do another one so I could update you guys. Um, yeah, so uh, Monday, they're going to be, as long as there's no rain, there's a 50% chance of rain. We'll see how the weather goes. Monday, they're supposed to be starting on replacing our roof. So that's going to be lots of fun. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to Sunday... The roofer's coming over tonight because we're also going to get our gutters replaced. Um, so he's coming over tonight to, I don't know, he's got to look at something. So we got to find out, do we need to move the pool? Should we just put a huge tarp over it? Not sure what to do with that. So I don't know if we're going to have to empty our pool Sunday. But we definitely have to. Mickey, why are you eating that grass over there? Why are you eating that grass? Huh? Definitely got to put some fencing up over in the side yard over here because the boys aren't gonna be able to be back here when they're doing the roof. So we've gotta get some fencing up and I'm gonna to have to take them out one by one over there while the roof's getting done to go potty. So that's gonna be lots of fun. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday possibly, they said it could take up to three days um, since we're getting the gutters done too. So um, anyways, so that's uh, what's going on around here. And everybody's loving it because the grass got mowed today. It barely needed to be mowed. <laughs> We've all, it's weird. Usually you have to, in Michigan, mow your lawn at least once a week. But here, with the no rain, it's been like every other week. And it barely needed to be. There's like certain patches like out here, a patch up here. Just random spots that would grow. The rest was still short. Um, it did need to be weed whipped though really bad. But uh, yeah, it probably could have went another whole week. <laughs> so sad, so sad. Um, and then I know not getting rain, but then I know some people are getting way too much rain and there's been flooding. So prayers out to you that have been dealing with that. Prayers out to those dealing with drought. My goodness, it's just been terrible. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to, oh, oh no, I already told you that. Um, so I just wanted to jump on real quick and, uh, give you an update on the blood work results. Marley's good. Mozzie's not in yet. Everybody else has been doing good. So we're going to enjoy our weekend. It's supposed to be nice. And next week it's supposed to get hot again. So thank you, Emily, again for that nice water dish to help keep the boys water cool and, and some people said they can drink water when it's warm I understand that but if they can have cool water I'm sure they'd appreciate it better <laughs> they could have some nice cold water right boys you'd rather have some nice cold water wouldn't you 
instead of hot water. Yes. So thank you, Emily. All right, guys. Going to get going. Got lots to do today. Got a groom grant. I got to wash Mozzie's belly with some antifungal shampoo that I've been having to do with him to try to help with him licking his belly. I got to put it on Milo's feet. And they hate it because it has to sit on there for 10 minutes. <laughs> so I just stand there. I set a timer for 10 minutes and they just got to stand in the sink with it on them. And they don't understand what's going on. No, they don't. So, <laughs> yeah, got lots to do. All right, guys, I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll see you next week. I almost forgot I wanted to give you guys an update on the injured squirrel that I was making sure he had... Uh, water and peanuts um he had a bad back i think it was his left leg um he was getting better though he was actually building up strength and getting better and moving a lot better um there for a while he was just dragging himself across the lawn to get to the peanuts and the water um and then he was not uh when i filmed that video that i shared in our last video, I believe it was, um, he was getting around a lot better, actually standing up on both back legs. So he was building up strength in that leg and he was getting better. So not sure what happened to him, um, but we did end up naming him Peanut. Um, but sadly, I haven't seen Peanut in about five days now. And I know I'm not constantly always looking out the windows, but I would see him every day. Um, he would come about the same time every day. Um, and I have not seen him. So I don't know if he's moved on. I'm praying nothing happened to him. Um, maybe he's found a new yard to live in. I'm not totally for sure, but I've not seen him. But there was a while, uh, a couple, uh, about a month ago, I didn't see him for quite a while. And then all of a sudden he showed up. So maybe he'll show up one of these days and I'll have to let you guys know. Um, you got a frisbee in that bed, my, uh, Miggy? I almost called you Milo. You put your frisbee in the bed with you? <laughs> everybody's tuckered out now, being out in the heat. So everybody's going to take a nap. Who's, oh, Marlon's over here. Yep. Everybody's going to take their afternoon nap. And I bet you Grant's already back in his crate. So I might have to wait until he pops back out to, uh, let's go see. We'll see if he's in his crate. I'll have to wait till he pops back out to groom him. Because I do not dare take him out of his crate to groom him. No. Oh, nope, he's not in there. Who's this? Oh, it's Miggy. Where's Grant at? Come on, Miggy. Let's go so we can shut the door. Let's shut the door so Grant can't go in his house. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Grant, you ready to get some of that hair off you? Yeah? <laughs> um, yeah, I do not dare take him out of his crate to groom him. He'll be very upset with me if I did that. So, all right, just a quick update on Peanut the Squirrel. We'll let you know if he shows up again. Mm -hmm.